Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Today's Wednesday, November 4th. Hope everybody's having a good post election day of trading. Uh, we had a nice green day today, plus $663.50. Uh, had a loser in gold to start that as my first trade of the day. Uh, took a nice little runner in the NASDAQ, uh, scratch trade in Apple, nice winner in Amazon. Uh, my biggest winner was Disney at $562. Uh, Intel minus 212, MU minus 572, so MU was my biggest loser. Uh, nice winner in Netflix, small winner in NVIDIA, small loser in Piton, a uh, little winner in Shopify, nice winner in Tesla, and a loser in Uber. So let's break this down. We stream live until right after noon today. Uh, I thought we were going to have a little bit more action with the uh, post-election movement, but uh, ended up being a good green day, uh, not necessarily what I expected. Uh, but let's break this down. Starting with the indices, I mean, at this point, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon central time. The NASDAQ is up 4.5%. The Russell is flat on the day. So pretty interesting. Banks uh, holding the Russell down with some negative uh, in the finance uh, financials. Uh, but tech just booming. Tech loves the, uh, the election results, apparently. So uh, let's start with gold. So this is one where in the pre-market, Gold had this big push up and then started consolidating here. I was looking for a continuation, uh, ended up coming all the way down. I held it all the way through this back up here, and I thought we were going to break out to the upside. Ended up just getting flushed out, so took a loss on that one. Uh, NASDAQ was my last trade of the day, and this was just a small little runner after it pulled back here. Uh, right after we jumped off the live stream, I got long right here and just rode this up. And at that point, I was just I was done trading, so I just closed it out and booked a booked a nice little winner. Uh, Apple, what did we do in Apple? Oh yeah, so this is a, a a long trade in Apple. So if we take a look, uh, price made this big push up, came down. We we got. We got long here at this pivot, rode this up, took some off, and then it just flushed us out. So we ended up taking about a, a scratch, minus 10 bucks on the trade. <clears throat> Amazon, a uh, nice winner here in Amazon. Amazon's so big, so we only did one contract. But after this big push up, it started consolidating around this pivot. We got long right here and just boom, took a quick $450 profit out of Amazon. Disney, my biggest winner, it was a nice trade here. Uh, big push up is just consolidating. We got long for a runner uh, right in this area here. Pushed up, got out of some, came back down, just held and held the, the, the last piece all the way up to this pivot. That's uh, where we got out of Disney. Intel. Uh, so Intel, uh, we actually were trying to we were trying to fade this market early. We got this big push up, higher volume, got short right in here. I don't know what happened. It's, I've never seen this happen before, but as literally as soon as I entered the trade, my PL on the trade dropped 10%. I was down 10% uh, when, and uh, price hadn't even moved yet. Uh, so I held it, held it, held it. And once we finally got this little flush, I, I closed out the trade, ended up taking a loss, which typically in that situation, based on the price movement and when I got in, I should have booked a profit, but for whatever reason, the uh, the, the option pricing just collapsed on me uh, as soon as I got in. So I ended up taking a loss on Intel. Uh, MU was my biggest loser. And this was one where we, we tried to get short. So we had this big initial push down, had this little bounce, was looking for a continuation lower, started to go lower and then just ripped higher. So we ended up closing it out right there for a loss. Uh, Netflix plus 280 in Netflix. Uh, let's see, in Netflix... Let me get to the place where we made the trade here. Netflix was a, uh, oh yeah, so after this big push up, we got short right here at this pivot. Nice move lower, took a nice quick chunk out of Netflix for plus 280. NVIDIA, a small winner. Uh, this was a uh, same, same thing. After this big push up, we got short right here and just took a little bit out of it um, on that little down move there. Piton had two trades in Piton. Uh, one was uh, right here after it pulled back to this pivot. We got long right here, just kind of chopped around, ended up flushing us out. We closed it out, took a quick loss on that one. And then when it pushed back up the pivot, above the pivot, confirmed we got long and took a winner out of there. So one winner, one loser there. Shopify took a quick winner out of Shopify. So 
after it pushed back up to this pivot and it was kind of chopping around, I tried to get filled several different times and it would, price would bounce. So I'd cancel my order, come back down, put an order in, never got filled, bounced. Finally, uh, right in this area, uh, took a long in Shopify. I was going to add to it if it came down a little bit more, never did. So I just had one contract, but caught this quick little pop here for a quick uh, $270 in Shopify. Tesla, uh, booked 380 in Tesla. Let's go to Tesla. Uh, so this one, oh yeah, we got, we got long down here. So on this initial flush down at the pivot, got long here and caught this bounce. So nice little trade in Tesla and then Uber, uh, was very disappointed in Uber. So Uber, uh, over the overnight, you know, with the election, it was up 12, 15% at one point and, uh, hit all time highs of 42.15. And it initially hit that and then came down and then came back up and was consolidating above this pivot. I was looking for another test of that all time high. Uh, never happened. So we got in here, kind of came against us, popped up, got out of some here. When it came back down, we added to it and then it just kind of kept flushing. So never got that bounce we wanted. I'm going to be looking at this for the next couple of days, looking for a retest of that high or potentially higher prices, but did not happen today. So I ended up taking a loser, uh, loser in Uber. All in all, plus $663.50 on the day. So good day. Post-election, we'll be streaming uh, live tomorrow as well, starting at the market open, 8.30 central time. And depending on the action going on, we may uh, stream a little bit longer, uh, at least 90 minutes, but we may stream into the late morning as well. So look forward to seeing you there. If you guys have any questions, let me know.